Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and affordable way that you can reupholster the seats on your golf cart. I'm Jeff, welcome to Cart Crazy. I thought I would do a little uh, DIY episode here. I know sometimes I blow through some of this stuff kind of quick and don't really show you all how to do it, but this is super simple and uh, I'm going to show you just a, a real easy way you can do this. I buy these covers and you can get the information right here uh, from this company. They are fantastic. The quality is great. Uh, they go on super easy. Uh, when I first started buying them, I think they were about 120 a set and when I say set I mean front and back seat you can get just the front I think for a little bit less uh, but of course with COVID and everything else and inflation prices have gone up I think they're around 140 150 a set which is still a good deal um, this is a pneumatic stapler that I'm going to use uh, my air compressor you don't need a big giant air compressor like that you can have just a small little garage type compressor I believe this was I don't remember. I've had it several years. I think it was around maybe 35 bucks on Amazon. Um, and we're going to use uh, 3 8 staples. <clears throat> I laid a bunch of them out here uh, so I can grab them quick and easy because we will go through a pile of them. But um, it's not hard to change the look uh, of your golf cart. This is um, the factory white and it's got some stains and things on here which we could clean off if we wanted to. But obviously it's getting covered so we're not going to worry about that. Um, but really super simple and I'll kind of walk you through it and uh, we'll get all four seats done here probably in a matter of about 30 minutes so here we go all right and uh, this seat is uh, a little bit tapered if I'm not mistaken so it's a little thicker in the back probably than it is in the front but you can kind of tell once you get it laid in there, um, you know, you're going to want just a little bit of extra fabric on both ends to kind of pull it around and, and make it fit real good. The other thing you want to check, just make sure it's sitting in there um, pretty even. In fact, I might have to adjust this one a little bit more. And just kind of look at your points um, where they come up here and kind of compare everything to make sure you're, you know, you're real similar. This one's probably shifted in there a little bit and before I get to stapling we'll square that up but then it's just a matter of and you know I don't even know if I do this right but I just start in the middle um, get a couple going there get a couple going on this side and then maybe you know kind of go along the edge a few and, and just work it all the way around it used to be I used to be really fussy about how I did it and I'm thinking oh is it going to have wrinkles in it is it going to be right and so on and so forth with this fabric, and you can see it's got a little foam in it, it's not your typical, like, I guess, marine vinyl or whatever they call it. So it'll hide a lot of, um, I don't want to say mistakes, but if it's not perfect, you're not really going to see it. The main thing is, is just pull it really tight before you staple. You don't want to just pull it over and staple it. So make sure it's you know good and snug, and then just work it. Your fingertips are going to be sore when you're done, um, but if you're doing it right, you're going to have everything pulled in there just right. So I'm going to get myself squared up, start stapling here. You'll see the finished product in a couple minutes. All right, I've got myself started. Uh, both sides I've got staples in and uh, don't be afraid to make a little mistake like here I didn't really get into the wood and kind of missed and I had to pull a couple staples out stretch it a little more um, and get and of course you're going right over the top of old staples so some of them might not go in all that well like those will come back through maybe with a hammer and tap those down but for the most part they go in real good and then <clears throat> I can flip this over just kind of want to see where your lines are at um, like this side I might want to pull a little more and bring that line around um, but you can see the big improvement we've made already on this so let's just run around the outside edge and throw some staples in here and see what we got so 
So as you can see, I'm not shy with the staples, um, and I decided to come back here a little bit versus going up here because I will run into other staples or plastic, and you can kind of experiment with that, but got this side um, nice and firm and tight pulled in there. Of course, our handle will go in here and tighten that up even more because it kind of presses up against that. So now what I'll do is I'll spin this around and basically do the same thing on this side. I'll pull this fabric towards me, get it a little tighter, get all the wrinkles out of it, and then I'll just work my corners. May even do the corners first here, I guess. I don't know. I'll surprise you. We'll see. Alright guys, there you go. Um, I should have looked at the clock. We're probably 15 minutes in, maybe. Um, and that's stopping to explain things and, um, and film and things like that. So uh, on the corners I go pretty heavy just because I don't want those to pull out. Uh, it seems like it would be more of a susceptible area. Um, but yeah, just kind of right along the edge. Like I said, I'm not shy with the staples. I don't want it coming off. Um, this is pretty decent. This has got a nice straight line here. This one, whether it's me or the seat cover, you know, it's maybe not as straight, but once the handles and everything are on there and you sit on it a few times, you're probably not going to notice it anyway. So I'm going to repeat the process um, with the backrest for the front seat, but um, this is a little bit different because you've got some curves and things in here to contend with. So you got to go a little slower. Um, you kind of pull and pull around, staple, and you know, take your time a little bit more, obviously. Uh, and I'm going to show you something cool for the back of these uh, once we get that part done. So hold tight. Now on this one, it's a little trickier, like I said, because of all the curves and stuff, but you just got to kind of pull it around with your thumb and do the best you can. Um, now you're thinking, what in the world are you going to do? You're going to see all these staples. Well, that's when you go online and you buy one of these awesome covers. I think they're about 38 bucks, and it goes over and it covers all of that up so you don't see any of it, okay? So these are awesome, great investment. Um, so if you consider that and the seat covers, you're in about 200 bucks. Uh, way less than buying new seats, for sure. I was bragging up these seat covers and how much I liked them. I am a little disappointed right here. You can see the stitching kind of got missed. Um, and we've got some threads and stuff hanging out. I will have to come through and trim those up a little bit. I probably can call the uh, the place I get them from that A to Z covers and they'd probably send me a new one But I think if I get in here and trim that up a little bit, we'll be fine So there you go quick and easy way to uh, recover your uh, your old seats and uh, We'll get them put on the cart here, and I'll give you a look. Uh, I do have the back seats in that box I am gonna do those uh, I won't bore you with the process because it's basically an identical process just a little bit smaller seat but we'll throw, uh, we'll throw these seats on here and I'll give you a quick look at what they look like. Alright, so there you go. Got them on the cart. Uh, looking pretty snazzy. Uh, this, is, this is my personal cart I've been working on. I had ordered these double take seats. Love the double take seats. They're really good quality. Uh, I think I just kind of missed the mark a little bit on the color. Uh, the gray doesn't exactly match and the white is kind of an off-white. So <clears throat> what I'll probably do is I'll probably reorder double take seats for this cart, maybe in a similar pattern and color. I'm not 100% sure yet, just kind of experimenting. Um, I can always save those for another project. I can always save those for another project. But for now, we're going to put these on here and um, run with that. The other thing I want to get done today um, is this rear seat kit. Uh, you can see it laying over there up against the, the uh, cabinet. I did not order cushions with that. Uh, because I have cushions, so my idea is uh, throw that back seat kit on here and uh, cover them with the same material and uh, see what we got. I've also got an idea on the dash that I'm kind of working on. Uh, probably won't get to that today, but 
maybe we'll uh, throw this back seat kit on there and see what that looks like. Well, got a couple things done off camera. Um, got this GTW seat put on there. Reupholstered these back seats. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not going to bore you with that. These are actually really simple because they're, you know, almost perfectly this uh, square or the same size. That one obviously has got a little dip in it, but it goes pretty good. Um, so we got that all on. Uh, upper supports. Still working on ideas for the dash. Did get the floor mat in. I don't know if I showed that or not in the last video. Uh, and of course, this battery has the eco battery in it. And uh, I did hook up the onboard charger, and that's all done. Uh, headlights are all done. Uh, so it's just a matter of plugging uh, an extension cord in right there, and it charges up. So I guess that's going to do it for this one. Uh, like I said, I appreciate you coming along. I hope you learned something today. And uh, make sure to check out uh, my Facebook page, Cart Crazy. We'll see you next time.